failed, mm-hmm. I think Sony would have pulled mm-hmm. Spider Man back mm-hmm. and Tom Holland Spider Man mm-hmm. back and, and said we're going to do this one hundred percent on all because mm-hmm. we got to have we got we own this property we got to make some kind of money. I, I think, and I might be in the unpopular side for saying this, but I think they got us this first time with people being let me curious curious on the venom movie the second time you know, the, i don't think oh i disagree you disagree I, I think they got us the first time uh-huh. I think, I, and maybe it was a fluke or whatever mm-hmm. or maybe they did a good job mm-hmm. but now that they got the money mm-hmm. they now they got the confidence and the momentum so that means they're going to get better probably even uh, the same writer or maybe even more they're going to they're going to they're going to throw a little bit more money into mm-hmm. it they're going to throw a little bit more money to get a better um um a, a better effects they're gonna try to up the story a little bit they got you already got carnage that's gonna be the thing that's okay. gonna make people even more curious but this is the big question with pg-13 oh yes or rated yeah, it r will. it will be pg-13 for the simple fact that you can't you can't you've already set the tone of pg-13 it would make no sense to go r now because we've already proven that pg-13 can work again and work but with but but venom is one thing carnage is another but but i mean but look at the main villain on uh on venom Mm -hmm. and how he was he like he sliced through a whole room Mm -hmm. you can still do the same Uh, stuff uh, just no blood yeah yeah. i mean he sliced like what 30 people in half we just didn't see a drop of blood we knew what he did yeah yeah it was still freaking crazy but then there's no blood but then how much more times can you show venom eat somebody but not show venom eat somebody show he ate him but he's off he, he did it off camera i i, th- <laughs> I think they will get they got lucky like you said they got they lucky, lucky that, that, that 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 it was a hit it, it was it's the first to- it's the first time a little first time we could do these things second time i'm like you gotta up the answer gotta, but i think the fact that we this now this is the first time we're ever gonna see carnage something that Remember when Spider Man first mm. was being made? Mm-hmm. Everybody was like, "I want Venom! I want Venom!" Mm-hmm. Even even Sam Raimi was like, "I don't like the Venom. Yeah. I don't want the Venom." Mm-hmm. And then they forced his hand. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll bring you Venom because everybody wants it. Now they got the Venom that they envisioned. That now you got you got a Venom that Sam Raimi didn't even want to do, and that's mm-hmm. why it sucks so bad. He didn't want to do it in the first place. Oh, mm-hmm. Now you got a Venom, the Venom that everybody was asking Sam Raimi to do. You mm-hmm. got that Venom, the big nasty mm-hmm. Venom. Now, now it's like, now, hey, we seen it, we saw it, we loved it, we got it. When you when you see it, what was your feelings about that movie? I th- I, I was shocked that that uh, I went in there with my expect because everybody was saying that this is going to be a, a bad mm-hmm. movie. The first couple of critics were like, uh, it felt like a movie that was made in the early two thousands or late eighties, mm-hmm. and it doesn't fit in any any kind of style or format of comic book movie that we're doing right now. Mm-hmm. And I was expecting that, mm-hmm. but when I watched it. Sean, my friend Sean was with me. We we did a review on it, mm-hmm. and he was shocked at my response to it because uh, he was like, "I like the movie. I like the movie. What do you think?" And I was like, "I'll talk about it in the car. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say nothing." Mm-hmm. I let Sean get it out. He's like, "I loved it. I liked it." And I said, "I looked at him and go, I liked it." And he mm-hmm. was like, "I shocked him because mm-hmm. I was like, I don't know what the hell those critics was talking mm-hmm. about, but I had fun with it. Mm-hmm. My favorite part of the movie was nothing that Venom even did. It was." When what's the girl? The girl from Dawson's Creek that was married to uh, Joe uh, uh, Heath Ledger, the the, the love interest. Mm-hmm. What's her name? When she first saw Eddie Brock do the Venom thing for mm-hmm. the first time, saw him kill all those cops, mm-hmm. and then he went to go talk to her, and she was like semi like running like what? The <laughs> like that was my favorite part mm-hmm. of the movie because that was a real reaction. Like mm-hmm. uh, like like you know you ain't gonna be, uh, probably outrun this thing, mm-hmm. but you don't want to stay. Like like the way she, like this a little subtle thing like that. That was my favorite part of the movie, but. Um, I was surprised how much I liked it because my expectations were were lowered, and I think everybody, a lot of people's expectations were lowered, mm-hmm. and it turned out to be a good movie. I enjoyed it, but as far as was it Venom? It wasn't Venom. It he didn't because never, it was watered down. No, not even that. Because, like you said, they did some things to kind of show you that okay, yes, he's murderous, and you know, you know. You know, they didn't go all the way fully showing blood and all that. Yes. Mm-hmm. But notice this. He never donned the Venom logo. You know who created that? Who? Uh, I think I have him up here somewhere. Do I have Yeah, here you go. So McFar- there you go. McFarlane. Yeah, McFarlane uh, designed Venom. That logo, uh-huh. 
if you look at if you look at Spawn's F, uh, M on his chest, that that white line, mm -hmm. that that's that M is always on his chest because it stands for McFarlane. He put his mm -hmm. brand on it. He designed Venom, mm -hmm. so it was a Spider-Man logo, but he did it in a way to make it look more like, like an a M, M to tell ah. you that this is McFarlane. That is the thing what we talked about earlier. The mm -hmm. fact that they're that they're keeping it separated. Mm. If they ever decide, yeah, let's introduce this character into the MCU or vice versa, which they can if they mm -hmm. want to. If they ever want to, they decide that because both actors, Tom Holland and, and um who's playing Venom? Um oh my god. <laughs> Why am I forgetting his name? His name is Tom Tom, Tom Holland. No, Tom, Tom Hardy. Hardy. <laughs> They both said they want to meet. Mm -hmm. So it's going I feel like it's gonna it's happen. It's gonna happen. I feel like it's gonna happen. And I too. think when when they when Venom finally starts becoming I feel like we're gonna get Carnage and then maybe he'll see Spider-Man in the magazine or something like that. And I think I think either Eddie Brock or Venom or both will start becoming obsessed mm -hmm. with Spider-Man. And I think it's gonna I think it's gonna trick like a couple of movies down the line when they finally decide to cross over. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a stalking kind of an obsession mm -hmm. thing. We hate you for we don't know why, but we hate you until mm -hmm. it becomes we're going to work together. Kind See, of thing. Now, now you're and talking my language. Gonna, that, now, <laughs> I think that's when he's going to dawn the spider, spider -Man. and it's going to be the exact same M type of spider. I think that's when he's like, like we're friends now, and then mm -hmm. then maybe the, then maybe he'll pull the spider out. Mm -hmm. I can see Tom Holland being like. I don't know how I feel about that, but okay, cool. But <laughs> like, I guess I already see it played out in my head. Like, I guess I, I see, I see Eddie Brock being obsessed mm -hmm. with him for whatever reason. Like, he wants to figure because, like, they basically or it doesn't, it doesn't even have to be Eddie Brock. It could be just the Venom symbiote yeah. for he, some reason being obsessed, obsessed with him. With like we, like he, maybe Venom, maybe they, maybe they rub a uh, skin or mm -hmm. touch for a brief second, and he. And then Venom realizes that, he, like, as compatible as he is with Eddie Brock, maybe mm -hmm. he realizes he's just as compatible with Peter Parker. Peter Parker. And yeah. he's trying to decide, does he want to leave Eddie for Peter? Mm -hmm. And fight, and then Eddie's trying to fight to keep him. That's probably, maybe that's why he's mm -hmm. going to hate, hate him. Hate Peter, uh, Peter, Peter Parker, Parker. Because you stole my suit. And I want it back. You see? We wrote the story. We already wrote the story. <laughs> Phase four. Mm -hmm. Make it happen. So... <laughs> That that for that yeah there you go we already built it laid the groundwork on how Sony and Marvel can do that. Um, now here's the other question. Let's get into this one. 